Ah, the orange glow of a jack-o'-lantern. Tonight, a certain ghost and a certain pumpkin will learn that not all things that smile bring joy. Ahem. Oh, good evening and welcome to a very, very special episode of Haunted Homemaking, a Halloween special, if you will. I'm just doing some final preparations for the night. A pumpkin here, a spider here. The possibilities are truly endless. But much to my dismay, I know you're not here to watch me decorate. So let's go ahead and open some hand mail. It arrived to us early this morning. Dear haunted household, why do some houses turn off their porch light during Halloween? I think that is so whack. Sincerely, name and address redacted. Ah, now that is a good question. I believe it's so we know which houses are giving out candy or not. What do you think, Jackie? Halloween is about the tricks and the treats. And if you're not giving out treats, prepare for a trick. You could ding dong ditch them. That's where you go ring the doorbell. And when they come get to the door, you just run away. Another trick is where you get a fake spider and you put it on the doorknob, you tape it there, and when they come outside and try to get back in, they'll be real scared. Those tricks suck. I got a trick that's better than that. Here's what you do. Get a rock. When they come outside, throw it at them. That's not a trick, that's assault. Uh. Wow, that is a pretty large range for what a trick is, but... Thank you for answering the question. You're welcome. How about you boys go grab your costumes, grab your pumpkins, and we'll get this Halloween special started. Okay, let's lock in. Yeah, let's do it. I got the best looking pumpkin. Ah, I forgot. Thank you for letting me be your haunted homemaker, and please enjoy this very special Halloween special. My pumpkin. Whoa, that's a weird looking pumpkin. Wow, nice bin. Man, I can't wait to go trick or treating. Me too. What are you gonna be? I'm gonna be a superhero. Woo. Super Bobby coming through. That's such a good costume. Yeah, what are you gonna be? I'm gonna be the devil. I'll have that soul, please. Whoa, who? Uh huh. Thank you. A superhero? Here comes Budget Man to save the day. Who said that? Are you dissing my fit? It wasn't me. You're the only one I see here. You're too short to be the devil. Uh, who said that? It came from over there. Uh, your pumpkin is talking. Huh? You should be a detective. You could solve the world's easiest mystery. Ha! <laughs> hey. What are you trying to say? I'm a dummy? Because I'm not. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner here. Hey. Hey, that is not a nice thing to say. He's a rotten pumpkin. I'd rather be a rotten pumpkin than a dingy sheep ghost. Hey, I'll have you know I washed these sheets yesterday. Whoa, look at these costumes. Who's the dirty snowman? <laughs> dirty snowman, that's a good one. Boop. Stop that. No, I don't think I will. Dirty snowman, that's not funny. Yes, it is. Dirty snowman, dirty snowman. I don't have to take this. Who's ready to carve some pumpkins? Ooh, it's time to do pumpkin carving. do 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 you need to say sorry to Mel and John right now, or I will end you permanently. I ain't saying nothing to no one, Pipsqueak. Jackie, are you joining us? Yes, we are. I'm here. Jackie, it's nice of you to join us. So, what should this pumpkin look like? How about we put a hole here, here, and here? Um, that looks suspiciously like you, Bobby. I don't know what you're talking about. I'll keep that in mind. 
Jackie, what do you think? I brought my own pumpkin to cards. So I was thinking we cut it up into little pieces and then we smash it and we put it into different trash bags. That sounds awesome. And we drive all over town and hide those bags in different dumpsters. Wow, I haven't done that in a while. I guess we can try that. Did you wash your hands? This pumpkin is talking. It's a Halloween miracle. Wow, okay, well, sorry, Mr. Mr. Pumpkin Jones, but my friends call me PJ for short. Mr. PJ, I can't carve you, but what I can do is put you over here so you can watch me carve a pumpkin if that's not too weird. It's not weird for me. That's how I was made. Okay, well, welcome. So, we're just going to do a classic scary face. I don't know why you bother asking me what I want to look like. You just do whatever you want anyway. Okay, you, you come get us when you're done. Ah, uh, nothing like a classic jack-o'-lantern. It's my favorite archetype, but I always guess when to carve them every year so that they don't rot but with a peculiar smile, they are perfect for rotting. As if they've become jaded right after Halloween. So relatable. So I am finally done with the pumpkin. Who wants to see it? I guess I'll see it. Let's see. Okay, here it is. Ta-da! Wow, now that's one good-looking jack-o'-lantern. Whoa. Thank you. Thank you, boys. Boys, isn't it time to go trick-or-treating? Oh, no. Oh, I almost forgot. We better go before all the good candy's gone. Oh, yeah. Let's get going. Bye. Bye. See ya. Well, Mr. PJ, what do you think? That pumpkin stinks! Ha 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 No, but it's almost as ugly as you are. Now that is a rotten pumpkin. We'll be right back after these messages. 
Good evening. Do you lie awake at night and think, I wish there were more Halloween or I wish there were more horror? Yeah. Well, look no further than Night Terror Magazine. With ghoulish delights that anyone can enjoy, Night Terror creates a community that anyone can be a part of. It's no wonder it's my favorite zine. And it's not because I've been in a previous issue. Oh, shoot. Check out all the darlings behind Night Terror Magazine who put so much love into their project to make it so informative, so inspiring, and most of all, so fun. Not to mention all the fantastic artwork. Oh my. Thank you, Night Terror Magazine, and to all my ghosts, please check them out in the description. I heard a rumor that the Halloween issue is to die for. And we're back with the Halloween special. While the boys are trick-or-treating, I'm going to bake some pies. Now, I love baking pies when the day calls for extra coziness, and it's a lovely way to pass the time. Plus, you get a nice treat out of it. My recipe is fairly simple, and with some homemade pie dough, will be absolutely, dreadfully delicious. The pie flavor of choice for tonight is blackberry. Between the nice tartness and beautiful color, it's my absolute favorite. We're throwing the berries into a pan with 1 fourth a cup of sugar, 1 fourth teaspoon cinnamon, 1 fourth teaspoon vanilla extract, lemon zest, and a squeeze of lemon juice and a sprinkle of flour. Heat everything until well combined and put to the side. I have a homemade pie dough recipe from a previous episode, but store-bought will work just as well. I'm making small pies, and in a buttered pie dish, lay your dough and fill with your blackberry concoction. I'm using Halloween cookie cutters to make some fun designs for the pie. A ghost, a bat, definitely screams Halloween. Bake at 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes and you have a beautiful pie fresh from the oven. Enjoy! My pies are all done and my home smells so amazing. I love a blackberry pie. Now I'm looking at my walls and I'm looking at my Halloween decor and I'm feeling a bit inspired. And I want to do a quick little craft. Nothing too big, probably something painted, something a bit silly but precious. Let's get started. For this episode's project, I didn't want to pull out so many supplies. I have these bright green paper plates perfect for a quick craft. I'm cutting the raised sides off to create a flat canvas and using fun scissors to add a scalloped edge. Thank you. 
With acrylic paint, I'm painting portraits of Jackie and Bobby G for Halloween. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's charming when it isn't. Because my paper plate has a glossy finish to it, I added multiple layers of paint. I'd recommend a material that isn't glossy. Once all the acrylic paint is dried, I'm sealing with Mod Podge. I hot glued orange and black ribbon to the sides and used a different kind of decorative ribbon to hang my creations. So, so cute. How cute are these? Now, I know I said Halloween craft, but these can be put up all year round, and I think Bobby and Jackie are really going to love them. Speaking of my two ghosts, how was trick-or-treating? Any treats? Any tricks? It was good. Yeah, we did a couple tricks, a couple treats. My feet hurt. They have been walking so far. Did you know not everyone celebrates Halloween? It's true. Not every house celebrates Halloween. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I guess Halloween just isn't the same. Did you go with them, Oz? Yeah, I go with him. Someone's got to carry the bags. The boys don't carry their own bags, but jokes on them when they're not looking. I snag a piece. Some egg threw a rock right at my head. Someone's got to report that guy. You guys don't carry your own candy bags? Why would I carry my own bag? You've got a perfectly good butler right there. If I carry a bag, it's going to ruin my whole aesthetic. No one's going to know what my costume is. They're going to think I'm a burglar or something. I just ask him to carry my bag because I'm so small. Okay, why don't you two wind down with a horror movie and I'll make a warm meal? Ooh, that sounds so good. Yeah, let's go watch a movie we're not supposed to. Here you go, some warm, cozy pumpkin soup. You could make soup out of that? I feel thankful but conflicted. Where's Mr. PJ? Mr. PJ had to go away. Oh, well, I did not like him very much. Yeah, that guy was a jerk. Bobby, do you notice something about this soup? Yeah, I do. It tastes rotten. <laughs> That's a good one. Poor, poor pumpkin. I guess that's what happens when you're rotten. 
but no need to worry, Mr. PJ is doing just fine. I have a very strange feeling he'll be helping out around the house for quite some time. I want to thank you for joining us for these Halloween festivities. Please take care of yourselves. Sweet dreams. Good night and happy Halloween.